Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Who knows whatever time you're watching this video. So for this week, we've got a really nice comforting stuffed sweet potato with chili. It's kind of one of those recipes where you use up all of these sort of extraneous vegetables in your refrigerator. And sweet potato is so comforting and it's getting colder. So it's one of those recipes that's not a lot of work, but tastes really good. It's very filling. So I'm super excited to get to show it, get to share it with you all. Uh, yeah, let's get to the recipe. This recipe requires ingredients you probably already have and can be easily adaptable. We're going to use carrots, onions, garlic, celery, green bell pepper because what's chili without green bell pepper, beans, quinoa, and some canned goods amongst other things. To start we're going to use a large pot and put it over a medium high heat. I didn't have as large of a pot as I would have liked, so I eventually switched to using two, so don't worry, but I highly recommend a large one. We're going to add carrots, onion, garlic, celery, and minced fresh parsley to the bottom of our skillet. I don't add any oil at this point really at all in this recipe. You can choose to do so if you'd like. Once it starts to cook down a little bit, we're going to add some bell pepper and some canned chipotle peppers and adobo just one for an extra kick and a variety of spices because what's chili without spice i will leave these all in the description for you all you can consult them at your will and also on my blog that i will also leave linked into the description be sure to once again subscribe if you like the kinds of content we put on this channel to cook down the vegetables a little bit we're going to add some water and it'll take anywhere between like 10 minutes for the vegetables to get nice and soft. Add two cans of 28 ounce whole tomatoes and one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. This is why we need a really large pot. In addition to one cup of uncooked rinsed green lentils. These will cook as you simmer everything for about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's why I recommend a larger soup pot to cook this chili in. Add 1.5 tablespoons of red miso paste, a tablespoon of vegan consomme, which is totally optional, and lots of lemon juice to round everything out. Now, I like to add some quinoa to my chili. It adds a nice bite, a nice crunch. I will leave in the description how I made mine. I add some black beans, navy beans, and canned corn, and let everything cook down and simmer for about 30 minutes so the ingredients start to mend and get together. You guys can also make this on in a slow cooker as traditional chili recipes, so it's completely up to you. But I had to then combine everything in a large pot because I made this not in my traditional kitchen, so we have to work with the tools that we have at our disposal. But yeah, that's pretty much the recipe. And because this is a stuffed sweet potato recipe, you could also want to bake some sweet potatoes in the oven for about an hour until they're completely soft on the inside. This is my favorite way to eat sweet potato. Really easy. Make sure to do it the night before just so you already have them prepped for when you go and eat your meal. I topped my stuffed sweet potato with some cashew crema and pickled jalapenos. Thanks so much for watching guys and stay tuned for next week on Friday for another video and shorts every single day. See you next time.